Hello and welcome to the very first round. Uh, let's say hello and good luck and uh, happy new year. And a happy new, yeah, uh, the year cut off. <laughs> uh, we're obviously not gonna mulligan this. I mean, we have turn one um, ancestral visions. Um, let's remove this stop. Uh, what is it there for? Oh yeah, opposition. Opposition broken. Um, so my opponent is blue. Depending on his colors, we could expect the other cards, which are um, Nicol Bolas, for example. Um, we obviously can't expect cards that we have, so that's good. Um, he is black, so hey, more rats of there being Nicol Bolas, right? In a matchup like this, I don't think two damage matters, so I am gonna pay two life. I'm gonna bluff, uh, having counter spell here. I mean, he has to give it credit that uh, I pay to life for this. The problem here is that uh, what do I do uh, by running out? I don't think I want to run through any nemesis into some kind of car counter. Uh, I rather have weight treasure out there in some kind of removal. I think resolving through ne nemesis is more important than resolving weight treasure eventually. Uh, I'll probably play this on the turn that he wants to fight over Ancestral Visions, if he wants to fight over it. Uh, he could easily have stuff like Diabolic Edict, yeah, there it is. Um, some more value for me for not playing True Name Nemesis. I think it's worse than the Exalted Angel or the True Name Nemesis in this matchup. Um, I think Exalted Angel is worse than True Name Nemesis in this matchup, so... So currently, no... We might play something like the Abyss. Uh, in that case, I want to sideboard in Disenchant. This is this is something important. You have to keep in mind which cards you saw, which cards you have to play around. And no clue why you play Mox Diamond here. Um, I assume he has something like um, a Fort of Will that he wants to hardcast. So we're gonna level this up once and then just you know bluff the counter yet again I mean this is twice that I keep open this mana he has to think I have it and play around it but really what's the point in playing the Mox Diamond there okay so he doesn't give it credit um, he just plays a 5-4 that regenerates things um, like I give a shit I mean I get to resolve an ancestral uh, ancestral visions here. Draw three cards, and then um, let's play. Yeah, let's play a dungeon, guys. It might be that the uh, true name nemesis is better, but I want to attack with it eventually. I think. So we're gonna level that one up, and then attack for three. do have a uh, cinnamon lance in hand. But my opponent only has two cards to my six tree now. Uh, his only creature in play is currently tapped down by my creature. He has a rigid on sport which I don't give a shit about. He's probably gonna tap something. Um, he's not even gonna tap something. So let's attack here. No point in leveling up this turn in the far for just too, exp too expensive to do. I uh, want to go to a tech step, he lets me. Oh, what is he doing here? Okay. Big fucking whoop. Um, let's cast this phase down. Again, we keep open to blue, has to respect it somehow. So he has a counter, he has Forge of Will here. Yeah, so um, that's why he played Amongst Diamond. You always gotta ask yourself, why does my opponent do something? And playing Amongst Diamond I previously made no sense. Except that, you know, um, he uh, could have Forge of Will, which is the only card he would go to 5 mana for and then not do anything with that 5 mana. But I mean, at this point, I, I think the game is over. I mean, I have uh, board advantage heavily. He only has two cards in, in uh, his hand. I have five, but I basically only have two. Um, the land doesn't matter. But my two cards are pretty sick. Uh, and that's another sick one. 
So let's play our Elspeth here. See what he does about it. If he does something about it. He probably wants to tap this and then no he doesn't. So begin combat. He's gonna tap this end of turn, but I don't care. Uh, I don't see what he can play. Oh, what if he does Nicol Polos kill this? Doesn't win him anyway. Uh, because he's at 5. Nicol Polos doesn't do anything here. But the fact that he plays Mox Diamond makes me think he might uh, play that. Removal on this. That's a possibility to have this to attack. Oh, intuition, really? Um, oh, so he's some kind of reanimator then. Like a lesh. Two reanimation cards. At least you gain more information about his deck, right? If you just concede it here. Uh, would gain less information. So I think he's some kind of semi reanimator. Um we haven't seen a lot of him except you know four cards, five cards if you count the box diamond. But the fact that he plays in guys and intuition here. Um bad value cards like Mox Diamond. Uh he probably isn't a control deck, but he's some kind of um reanimation deck. Question is how do I wanna play against that? Or how do I want to sideboard against it? Uh, the thing is, it depends on how they reanimate. Like, I don't think I have graveyard hate, especially not in these colors. Uh, I passed up the Mizumi Grave Rubber. Uh, creature removal is obviously really strong against them as well. Uh, which I have two of. Uh, Moat is usually pretty good because uh, a lot of their reanimation targets does do not have uh, flying. Elspeth is pretty good because, you know, it chumps it forever. Uh, he probably has something like Inkwell Leviathan. But, you know, he's thinking here for a while. Uh, which usually is a good sign for me. That'll probably take this game home. Like, yeah, this is why Intuition just isn't that good. Obviously, I picked up the gifts. So, uh, he can't have that. Ancestral Recall, really. Uh, what do you think I'm gonna give you? I'm obviously gonna give you, um, give him, give you Mystical Tutor. Uh, he could have Snapcaster Mage, but you know he might just have wanted the Mystical Tutor there, but uh, you know Ancestral Recall, and Time Walk, both going in his graveyard. Um, wow, the fact that he had has both Ancestral and Time Walk. Come on, dude. <laughs> That's a bit sick, isn't it? So, yeah, end of turn, he's gonna Mystical here. But, I mean, the other two cards are just way stronger. Um, I'm curious what he's gonna Mystical for. Toxic Deluge. What, and pay three? Go down to two. I minus this. Oh, we can regenerate this? Yeah, of course you can regenerate this. So, mining that doesn't matter, you just up this. Then play it through Nain Nemesis, he loses the game. Yeah, I think you want to pay three life. Yep. Doesn't matter how, put him in the graveyard. It's not a bad card, Toxic Deluge, but. Just not good enough here. Um, okay. So we make some tokens. We play true name nemesis. Oops. Uh, choose a player. Obviously, I want protection from him. And the sense is vanity up. Good luck with this. What does it do? Plus two, plus two, and flying. Yeah, wins the game. Oh, this is actually another way to play uh, Rant Mode. Uh, but he can't get rid of, yeah. Thought so. 
So my opponent has broken deck um, or broken cards. Do want a daze? Maybe. Do want a dust ball? No. Uh, just have two two lands or two uh, two colors. Like on the original sport, it just isn't that good enough. Uh, whip quarter might be good against reanimation. Uh, it's better than porcelain legionnaire, I guess. Kami, no. Like I don't think any of the others are valuable. Like this just shuts down a reanimated creature. He seems real low on creatures, so real low on kill count. So in that case, whip core is just better. Um, removal is really good. I think we want something to apply pressure. So actually, I think we want these and probably get something rid of something like uh, Etherling and. Hmm. Might want the daisy as well. Eaterling is gone. Base of it is so good against him as well. Holy shit. Um, let's not play the Legionnaire then. Or let's not play the Zamaru. I think yours are better. And then. What else do we want out? Rip quarter? No, I just. Uh, maybe the student. No. Say like whip quarter and porcelain legionnaire. Like legionnaire is enough pressure. Student was good though. I mean, it's a three-three first striker compared to a three-one first striker. But all of these are, are pretty good as well. Um, weight pressure died pretty easily. Now this is fine. Uh, we have one, two, three counters. We have same amount of removal. So let's keep it as it is. Uh, we have two lands, whip quarter. Uh, we have moat eventually, exalted angel, else pets. Yeah, let's keep this. Um, it's obviously not that great. But I mean, moat should be able to win the game on its own. I think uh, whip quarter is pretty good. Exalted angel is pretty good. Any mulligan, so. Uh, we're gonna keep this. I mean, the odds of us drawing a land is good enough. I looked at my my deck size and I'm like, yeah, 34 uh, because I run uh, 41 cards. And then I looked at his and he's, I'm like, hey, he runs uh, 34 cards, uh, 41 cards as well because he has 34 cards. And he's like, but then it's because yeah, he mulligan. So he mulligan twice, which obviously is really good for me. Uh, I'm not complaining, there's a land already. Uh, he obviously likes... No, he can't like this. Um, so yeah, let's just cast this, uh, apply some pressure, like he's a uh, ton of cards. We sideboard this in because we think it's good against a deck like his. Uh, there's the way out for him. So let's attack here. See if he removes it, he doesn't. Let's cast his face down. He knows about the Exalted Angel being there. And I think next turn is just Elspeth and win the game. Because there's no point in, in not playing it, right? Uh, let's just attack and make a creature. I don't want him to be able to remove one of these. I mean, it's less pressure, but it's uh, enough pressure that next turn I have 1, 6, uh, 10 damage. I know, Maze of It stops his offense in, some, in every way. As does Mode, probably. Um, he might just time walk here. I mean, he's thinking about something, and I think. He what? Intuition? Toxic Deluge? Toxic Deluge might be a play. Okay, let's Toxic Deluge for uh, two. I mean, that's. Uh, yeah, there it is. 
Yep, yeah, that's fine. Figured it out. So he's obviously still not gonna win this, but um, uh, yeah, let's play the mode and see a point not to. Maybe we just have to, you know, give the same soldier token flying three times and win the game. He can obviously start killing it, but I think um, having this is good enough against his Mulligan to five. I mean, I'm gonna give this flying anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, his frantic surgeon, yeah, he's definitely r some kind of reanimation. Question is, what does it discard? Sphinx of the Steel Winds, uh, pretty annoying. Gets stopped by Maze of it, but it stops my offense off as well. Flying first strike vision's life link protection for two cards. Uh, Richard and Sport stops Maze of it. Maybe I should have said word in Dust Bowl. Uh, he sure has to take his while to think about this, so his hand is pretty good. Um, it could easily be uh, like reanimate. Well, he discards Black Light. How good is his hand? Like reanimate Time Walk here. That would be sick. Frantic Surge is obviously card advantage, but it doesn't matter if you want cards in your graveyard. Uh, the fact that he plays this card, I might want to sideboard in Disenchant. Because, you know, Disenchant on this is really good. Yeah, there's Reanimate. Don't tell me he has a Time Walk as well. Okay, he doesn't. Uh, so let's play Maze of It, Maloku. Does he want to counter this? He has to get uh, Rishion Spores to start, start playing around the maze. And even then again, just, you know, champ this for eternity for now. And as soon as uh, Elspeth gains ulti, I don't think he's capable of winning it. And that's pretty soon. Imagine ulti of Elspeth, then catastrophe, destroy all creatures or lands. <laughs> I mean, just destroying all lands there was like, yeah, you lose our lands, I lose nothing because it doesn't matter to me. Uh, my opponent is thinking about something. What does he have? Oh, intuition again. I mean, he, he has to have Snapcaster if he runs this, right? It makes no sense elsewise why he would. So what does he get here? He gets Rishin on Sports, which I put in the graveyard. Ancestral Recall, Time Walk. Or something like Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, Snapcaster, if he has Snapcaster. But if he has Snapcaster, why wouldn't he have gotten that the previous Intuition time? Did he really want a Mystical Tutor so bad for a Toxic, toxic Deluge in the previous game? That he did not consider, you know, just getting a Source of Vision, Snapcaster, Toxic Deluge, and then... Uh, I oh know, uh, Snapcaster dies to the Toxic Deluge, right? I guess. Uh, at least if he gets rich in sports, it's going to his graveyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sphinx is still wins. Without, um, you know, Journey, without Search Supply Shares. Uh, Whipcorer is already dead because of his Toxic Luge. The fact that it says flying makes mode a bit useless. So I might sideboard out mode just because it slows myself down. 
mm, you know, he has Black Knight, things like that. So it might not be that bad. Uh, we already saw Ninkai's as well. He sure takes his while about his decisions. I mean, that's fine. Uh, the fact that time online is separate, because you can do that online, I mean, it's not. People, to our people, let's say, like, yeah, you can do it in real life uh, with the chess clock. Come on. Consider how many times you pass priority. It's insane how many times you pass priority. Like every single decision, every time you go to the next step, which are uh, like there are seven phases and combat step has six steps. Every single time you have to pass priority. Every single time you have to hit that clock. How undoable isn't that? Like it's just not doable in real life at this point with the current technical availability. Chess is way different. Um, I mean, there's not stuff like prior priority like that. Um, Necrotal, okay. He's desperate. <laughs> if you get Necrotal, you sure are desperate. Uh, obviously, I actually am gonna give him Masticor. Interesting. I think I give him this card. Or just no time walk is too good because of uh, it, it playing around the maze of it. Masticor, how on earth is he gonna win if he has Masticor? He has to be able to give it flying. It has this card. Well, let's give him Masticor. Let's find out. Find out what he does with Masticor. So um, I guess he has Snapcaster Mage in hand. I still give him the credit of having Snapcaster in his deck and having it right here uh, to play Time Walk on. Because else it still makes no sense. Man, if only I had a card that made all creatures lose flying. It's obviously not in cube. Like all creatures lose flying and then Elspeth overrides it because of timestamp and then you can just start smashing it. Uh, we obviously need white mana. So he's gonna cast a Masticore here. Yep, that's fine. Because, you know, it can't actually attack. And it's gonna make him discard cards. Like, he probably wants card cards to be discarded, but even then. I found that to be a bit odd. Um, so, yeah, let's just pass the turn and see what it does. Obviously not gonna attack. Eventually I can make a big enough army to just swing through with Meloku. Um I need nine tokens. No, I need I need more. Oh, so he probably wants to keep it around just to start, you know, killing things off like Meloku. Do I even care about that? I don't think I do. Uh, so we discard this figure, okay. Yeah, this is just gonna make him pay a hefty price. To kill things. Um, do you think he has to do it now? Or in response to the Elspedalicity, of course. Both are, are doable. Um, if he does it, I make two tokens. He might just do it targeting me to shrink Elspeth. It's also a viable option. Um, hmm. As soon as I get a second. As soon as I get a third blue, I win the game. Oh, I can make a third blue with a um, Maloka next turn. Oh, wow. That's GG. If he does not kill Meloku here, it's game over. Uh, he targets me, it's GG. I win the game. Like, he shrinks health, but that's fine. Um, I make a blue, tap all his creatures. Oh, there, that's also good. Um,
one, two, three, four. Um, give this flying begin combat lethal. Even though the monetize to back it up, yeah, there it is. Um, so this find out the play. Anyway, I'll see you guys for a second round.